the way in which great writers typically examine ideas is by how, what their consequence is on people who live them. So they ask the same philosophical questions, but they ask them in, in literary form because literary form can show you how specific people live them and what their consequences are. So the idea is that literature is a better way to answer philosophical questions than traditional philosophical ways. My name is Professor Morrison, and I have been fascinated for decades with the relation of literature to philosophy. I, I work on those literary works that have a lot to tell us about life, about wisdom, about life's purpose, about everything that is of ultimate concern. The present uh, series of lectures deals with a genre directly devoted to philosophical questions, the philosophical story. It has been around in all cultures since the beginning because wise people give answers to questions and stories deal with how they do so. It's in the Bible, it's in the Talmud, it's in the sacred texts of the Buddhists and the Hindus, and it goes right up into modern literature. So the class will be an examination of works, short works that ask big philosophical questions. And those questions will be about life and death, about life's meaning, about whether you find the answers to important questions by sheer ratiocination or whether you need some kind of empathy or direct human connection to do so. Um, it's philosophical literature, so it's ask philosophical questions but answers them the way writers answer them as opposed to the way philosophers answer them. Uh, we will be dealing with short works from the Bible through my favorite writers, Tolstoy and Chekhov, and we will deal with utopian writers and anti-utopian writers like Jonathan Swift. And I think you will find that all of the things we read are interesting, uh, accessible, and exciting.